when Java 8 was released, everyone was interested in the new Java streams. But Java 8 brought more than streams. We also have completable features. A lot of people didn't really look at completable features, but it's actually a wonderful tool. You can use completable features to run code asynchronously. So let's look at our typical example. So we have a program here, which I want to use to simulate a network process. It simply collects a value and returns a multiple of that value. So in this case, I'm going to multiply the value times 10. Before returning the value, I'm going to slip the thread for two seconds. Now, this is just to simulate how a network call would behave. Sometimes it could be longer actually. So let's come over to our main method. So this should return 50. Let's run this. You'll notice that it actually took a long while before printing out 50. To prove that, just do this. I put this so that you can know when the code actually starts running and how long it takes it to stop. Let's make this 3 seconds. Run this. So the code is started but then took a while before ending. Now, this can cause a delay in your application. So if I call this long network process, this whole thread is occupied. Therefore, your application will appear to actually be hanging. So you actually want to run this in the background. Now, with completable features, you can do just that. And you can even do more. Let me explain. So in order to use completable features, I'll simply say um, completable feature dot supply async. Now this takes in a supplier, so I am going to use a lambda expression. I would put a link to a very good tutorial on lambda expression. You can check the tutorial on Java Brains. It's actually a good series on lambda expressions. If I expand this, this is what you actually get. So this is the supplier. So it's returning the value of the long network process. If we run this, you can see the code executes quite quickly and nothing is returned. Let's come over here and say this called. So let's run this program. So if you look at the output, it's called starting process and immediately called process called. So what happens is, it prints out this and calls this. This ends up running in a different thread. Then it calls this. Because this is running in a different thread, it doesn't stop this from running. So by using this, so by using this, you have less interruptions in your application. Now, how do we get the value returned from long network process? Because long network process returns the value times 10. And we'll come here and add one other function called then accept. Once you run your process here and it returns a value, then accept is saying after this process is done, Give me the value. Now you can work with the value. Now, because long network process is returning an integer, then accept will supply you with an integer. It's the value. Now, this is just a variable name. It's an integer, but then 
you're familiar with lambda expressions IntelliJ just named it integer now you can name this variable anything but for now I'm just calling it integer it has the type integer even though it's an integer the name must not be integer I can as well just come and say value I'll have to come here and change it to value as well so if I run this nothing comes out why because this is on a totally different thread so what we can do is to slow down this main thread so that this can complete so in a normal application you wouldn't have this issue because your application is running continuously in our simple java program once the code is finished running the whole application finishes so what we can do is we can say sleeping for a little bit so i'll come over here and say thread dot sleep let's sleep for three seconds as well i think what's going to happen i have to create a method for this static but sleep a little and i'll put this inside here come here and write sleep a little i've still be seeing that code every time i'll remove this and write sleep a little and under it i'll write done sleeping so we start the process call the completable feature then the completable feature prints out completed when it's done then on the main thread after calling the completable feature we call process called then on the main thread we sleep for a little bit as the main thread is sleeping the completable feature is still working and when the main thread is done sleeping we print out done sleeping so let's see what this does we call the starting process we call the computer feature and then we immediately came to process called then we slept on the main thread we slept the main thread for a little bit and while it was sleeping it happened that the completable feature had finished so it printed out completed and the actual value you know the value is 50 because long network process took 5 multiplied by 10 and then when it was done return the value so it printed out completed 50 so after this was done the main thread had finished sleeping and it wrote done sleeping so the purpose of me doing this sleep operation is to show you that using completable features would save you from blocking the main thread and help you run processes in the background Now, sometimes you might not really want to return a value from a process. You just want to run it in the background. So for example, let's say we had another long process. Process. So we have a very long process. It doesn't return anything. It slips a little, simulating a very long process. And then when it's done, it prints out done with very long process in that situation there's something called run async the supply async takes in a supplier run async takes in a runnable so let's remove this and uh, we can write run async 
and very long process so over here we don't need to return any value we don't need to use then accept here because this just runs in the background if we run this like others you're not going to see anything because it will just call it and then move on to see if there's another execution what will happen is it will call this it will run in a different thread and the main method continues execution at this moment it doesn't see any other code to execute so it finishes so what we can do here we can also sleep a little bit on the main let's run it so you can see done with very long process what happened was this was called and this was called and while the main thread was asleep this can finish and then print out its value or perform whatever it wanted to perform and then when the main method finished sleeping the program exited so you could use run async for maybe you have a process maybe you want to send something to a database you don't really need any feedback or return value you can run it asynchronously so with this you can use supply async or run async those two are very handy in the next lesson we are going to look at more features of completable feature some cool features of completable features if you like this lesson please consider subscribing so that you can get the notification when i release more tutorials and consider giving it a thumbs up if you did like it